Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Let's discuss what Asherman syndrome is today. What are the diagnosis? How does it affect fertility? And how can we treat Asherman syndrome? Asherman syndrome is a rare condition where scar tissue, also called as adhesions or intrauterine adhesions, build up inside your uterus. This extra tissue creates less space inside your uterus. Think of it as like a wall of a room which is getting thicker and thicker, making the space in the center of the room smaller and smaller. Therefore, when you're trying for pregnancy and an embryo is formed, it reaches the uterus, it becomes very difficult for the embryo to implant. And secondly, it also becomes very difficult for the embryo which is implanted to feed us to grow, the baby to grow. This condition can cause pelvic pain and abnormal uterine bleeding and can lead to fertility issues. Asherman syndrome can be treated and treatment often helps relieve your symptoms. So how common is Asherman syndrome. It is considered a rare disease. It's hard to know exactly how many people have Asherman syndrome because it can go undiagnosed as well. Some people may not even experience any symptoms from this condition. And if you don't experience symptoms, you may never see a clinician. But let's talk about who has a chance of getting Asherman syndrome. It's an acquired condition, which means that something usually happens that causes you to develop scar tissues. You may acquire Asherman syndrome in several ways, including surgery, infections, cancer treatment, and your risk of developing Asherman syndrome can increase if you've had surgery on your uterus in the past, including operative hysteroscopy, complicated dilation, curettage, also called as DNC, or caesarean section. You've had a history of pelvic infections or have been treated for cancer. So let's see what exactly causes Asherman syndrome. It happens when scar tissue or additions build up inside your uterus, limiting the space inside your uterus and sometimes blocking your cervix. This can happen for several reasons, but none of the main causes is often surgery of your uterus or cervix. The cause of Asherman syndrome can also include operative hysteroscopy, a surgery where your healthcare provider places a camera into your uterus and then cuts off and uh, removes fibroids using an electric uh, instrument. A type of surgery called as dilation and curettage is used to open your cervix that is dilate and then remove tissue from your uterus. This tissue can be the lining of your uterus called as the endometrium or tissue from a miscarriage or abortion. During the procedure, a tool is used to scrape away the extra tissue. This typically doesn't cause scarring unless you have an underlying infection. Next is caesarean section. This surgery is used to deliver a baby as you are aware. In some cases, a C-section can cause scar tissue to form. This can happen where the stitches, the sutures were used to stop bleeding, also called as uh, hemorrhages during the c-section and you can also have an infection at the time of the procedure otherwise it's very rare for a c-section to cause asherman syndrome infections can also cause asherman syndrome but they alone do not uh, typically cause this issue but when you have an infection uh, while you're undergoing uterine surgery like dnc or a c-section you can develop asherman syndrome some infections could lead to asherman syndrome and they include cervicitis and pelvic inflammatory diseases that can lead to this uh, problem. Radiation treatment also can be an issue. Sometimes a treatment option can cause a scar tissue to develop in your uh, uterus. Radiation therapy can be used in conditions like cervical cancer, but this can cause additions that lead to Asherman syndrome. Asherman syndrome can be diagnosed with imaging tests, ultrasonography. Let's talk about them. Ultrasound is a type of image testing that uses sound waves to create a picture of your internal organs. An ultrasound can be done externally on your skin or internally with a transvaginal ultrasound. A thin wand is inserted into the vagina using this version of the test. Hysteroscopy is also another method. During this procedure, your gynecologist or your clinician uses a thin tool with a camera on, at the end of it to look inside your uterus. This is inserted in your vagina and moved up through your cervix into your uterus and it allows your clinician to get a detailed look inside your uterus. It can be also used to treat Asherman syndrome. Then comes saline infusion sonography. This imaging test uses ultrasound along with saline solution to create a clear image of, of the insides of your uterus. The fluid expands your uterus so that your clinician, your gynecologist can see the details of the shape, the defects of your uterine cavity, etc and this gives them a very detailed look at inside and outside of your reproductive organs. So there are methods to diagnose it and because of the additions, your success rate might come down depending upon the severity of the situation. But gynecologist or radiologist can give you a clear picture about the severity and also the treatment options. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.